This video will talk about evaluating equations and translating words into equations. First we want to evaluate. So a solution to an equation is a value put in for the variable that makes the equation true. You can check your answers by plugging and chugging by hand or you could also do it in your calculator or you could use your calculator table. We're going to look at all three ways for this problem. So we see x is e equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0. We want to know if any of these are solutions to this x plus 1 equals 0. So by hand, I'm going to plug and chug that negative 2. So x becomes negative 2 and then plus the 1 and is it equal to 0. And negative 2 plus 1 would be negative 1, which is not 0. So negative 2 is not an answer. And if I try negative 1 in here, negative 1 plus 1 equals 0 and when I add negative 1 and 1, I get 0. So I now know that x equal negative 1 is a solution. And I need to try the last one. So 0 is in for x plus 1, and is that equal to 0? 1 is not equal to 0, so 0 is not a solution, just negative 1. If I wanted to use my calculator, I could do the same thing. I could come over here to my calculator, and where I see x, I would just put negative 2, and then plus the 1 and find out that that is equal to negative 1 which isn't 0 so I don't include it and then I could try negative 1 for my x plus the 1 and when I enter there I find out as 0 which is what I'm looking for so I know that x equal negative 1 over here and if I put in 0 plus the 1 and then I press enter I can see that that is not 0 so it is not a solution and one last way to do it, if we look at our table, so we do second graph, and my table starts at 0, I need to look at negative 2 and negative 1, so I'm going to go backward, my up arrow will take me backward, and I need to put my equation in there, so I come back, notice there was nothing in my y2, so I come back in here and I put x plus my 1, now I go look at my table, and at negative 2, it's negative 1, at negative one is zero so here's going to be an answer and none of the rest of these are answers either only when my y value on my table is what my y value over here is supposed to be so let's try that again let's use our calculator so we're going to clear this equation out now we're going to put 2x and we want it to be equal to negative 4 that's what we're looking for in our table so we go back to the graph we're looking for negative 4 in our table and right here at negative 2 we can see that works. So we now know that if x is negative 2 and if it's negative 1 and if it's 0 that's a 1 then y was negative 4 I don't know why it's grabbing like that negative 2 and 0. We needed it to be negative 4 there's the negative 4 so x equal negative 2. Let's try the next one. Y back over here. We're going to put in x caret 2 minus 3 times x plus 2 and we want it to be equal to 0. That's what we're going to look for for y. So we're going to come into our table and at negative 2 at negative 2 I can see that it's 12 not 0 At negative 1 I can see it's 6 not 0 and at 0 I can see that it is 2 not 0 so none of those are actually solutions so there's none here that are solutions but if we look in our table down here at 2 the y value is 0 so we could say that the actual value and at 1 so y is, or x, not y, x is actually equal to 1 and 2 because both of those over here gave me the 0 that I was looking for.